In fact, the presumption is that you are innocent, but your innocence will be as you are inside. As about uh, the, the conditions of, of jail, it should not be that it is only when now MPs are locked Absolutely. in. Now, now, now they, are, they are very hot about improving the conditions. Mm. We should be improving society so that people don't go to jail. And Honorable yeah. Moody, our worry was very uh, key on uh, making some reforms mm. in the... Yes, he did uh, a lot. Mm. Then the rest went to sleep, especially your party leader, he took over the position. And then uh, just went to sleep. He didn't know that his team will be inside. It is good to have modern uh, uh, institutions. Some of these police cells were built when Kenya had a million people. Now we have 40 million. So there are more people being charged, there are more people being arrested, and therefore we need to improve this. But it's not a priority just because the leaders went in. In fact, uh, it appears that whenever leaders go into jail, they come out very humbled. Mm -hmm. Mandela came out a very humbled man, and we had the best leader. Okay. Honorable uh, went in. But then it's not back about, nice it's about, it know, about it's it's not about uh, uh, leaders going in. Huh? Let me tell you, and I hate to cite this example, but whenever some high profile uh, in quotes, victims come off of process. The value of advocacy goes higher. Mm. Let me cite this, and I, and I cite it with a lot of hesitation. Mm. I remember we were talking about curbing extrajudicial executions in this country. Yeah, they were killing young Kikuyu male poor. That was profiling. If you're young, Kikuyu male and poor, you, you f simply fit it in, in the whole matrix of being a mungiki. Mm. So even if you are just a normal passersby and the police pull the trigger on your head, you will say that we've just killed a Mungiki adherent. Mm. So what then happened once, and the, and the, young, the man is now condemned, uh, the police officer, he, he shot the son of Hodrebo P.K. Muiruri, Dr. Muiruri, at Westlands. And his first communication to, to base was that he shot a Mungiki. Only for us to realize later that it was Honorable Muiruri's son, son mm. that shifted the, the, the advocacy against extrajudicial. Like really uh, absolutely, mm. a very a doctor. He was a yeah. doctor of law. He was a, a doctor of law. Mm. So that that shifted the advocacy at a higher crescendo. Mm. So the elite now galvanized that you <clears throat> must end extrajudicial executions. Mm. So, but every day these days we condemn young, poor people in, in our informal settlements. In, to death. Every other day they are being shot in neighborhoods. So, but when that happened, there was call to action, Saitoti moved, everybody moved at that point in time. Mm. Uh, we went to the Geneva, we, say, we started to stop it, we started giving statements against it. So what happens if you tell people, if you tell legislators, allocate money for the improvement of the conditions of jail, they will tell you, oh my God, why? <coughs> We Why are we improving it? it? Mm. You are, these are criminals. Mm. But now when you see that you can be held there for four nights mm. or three nights. And literally then, go through what <clears throat> they go through. Absolutely. Mm. The ordinary citizen on a daily basis, the, the kind of indignation we subject them to. Then it pushes the level of advocacy. So today when you want to push uh, to add money, you already have four or five members who will support it even without much debate mm. or much question. <laughs> After having so, gone through Because these, these yeah. experiences are the best teachers, they say. Mm. So mm. I think these are some of the issues. So I'm not saying it's a special case. It's, I'm saying is there has been agitation by human rights actors for, mm. all, the, for all these times. All along. All along. Mm. That do this, have this, allow us access to, to medical treatment, allow access to legal counsel. Uh, make sure that there is police reform so that the, the OCS is the, is, the, is the person in charge. He does not have to take any orders from above. Mm. He is able to, to admit and to, uh, and to release on, on, on certain precautionary standards that are given within the, within the National Police Service mm. Act. Therefore, once, once now people see that, that the, the need to have independence mm. or, and reforms and everything else incidental to, to, go, to the human rights standards that have been set <coughs> in terms of the rights of an per arrested person, then people will start to, to, will, will start to advocate 